Good afternoon. Right, we're doing an experiment here, okay? <laughs> oh, right, okay. I was in Lidl's and I picked up one of these. Now, I've always wanted to do some marbling. And um, to be honest, I was looking on Amazon for a kit. Uh, but they were like eight, ten pounds. I thought, if I don't like it, what am I going to do? This was four ninety nine. And I thought, well, do you know what? That's great. It's got colours in that I like. It's got um, a white azure blue, ultramarine blue and aqua green. Colours I love. That's fine. It comes with 10 pieces of A5 paper. Now, it looks to me a bit like a water, um, watercolour paper. It's quite thick. It might be mixed media. don't know. It doesn't actually say what it is, but it comes with that. And as I say, the four colours. So... Well, give it a go <laughs> it could be a disaster i can't do anything about the ring light i'm really sorry that reflection i just can't yeah if i if i block out the ring light it just is too dark and you won't see what i'm up to so bear with me once we get some color on hopefully it'll disappear <sighs> right here we go mad scientist never done this before it does say to give him a good shake so we'll give him a good shake now i'm hoping i've cured the camera wobbling I'm so sorry about that on the last video. Um, I've taped it back to the table behind it now. So hopefully if I do, yeah, it's just wobbling the water and not the camera. Right. Okay. <sighs> Should we see how much I can mask this up? Right. So I'm going to use the paper that was in the pack, which is those ones. I'm also going to use some Cardi paper because um, I'm quite interested to see how that reacts to the marbling. I don't know, it might be rubbish. I've got a couple of um, bog standard postcards, blank ones here. Very thin card, not sure how they're going to work. And then I've also got some parchment paper, which is a creamy colour anyway. Might not use that actually, it might be a bit yuck. And then I've got some real cheap card from the works. Can't find the packaging now. Um, yeah, it's just um, a bog standard thin card basically what did I do with it I had the packaging here a minute ago anyway doesn't matter right so um the instructions do say to have right so it says yeah so shake them well um it says to have a container that's big enough that you can dunk your paper in I'm thinking this is going to be and this is a plastic drawer out of one of those tower units I haven't got the tower units anymore but I did keep the drawers so let's put the cup of tea over here so we don't have any disasters. Oh, crikey. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> We're all right. It does say to put on gloves. So I've got me lovely plastic mitts here. Oh, and it says skewers, but I've only got um, cocktail sticks. Um, but I have got one of these stirrer things, you know. I, I don't know. I've never done this before, like I've said. So... Let's just um, let's just give it a go, shall we? I'm sure we can make a disaster. I thought, well, for five quid, you know what? It's just give it a go. Um, right. So it says immediately. Right. So drop the ink on the surface of the water. Two, three colours is ideal. The more inks that are dropped, the more colour intensive the marbling will be. Immediately draw a marbled pattern using a wooden skewer. It's important to work quickly, especially when using metallic colours. I haven't got metallics. Uh, then slowly immerse the paper into the water and quickly remove it again. Right. That all sounds very simple. Let's see how we can mess this one up. What should we do? Let's do... I'm assuming these have got droppers on. I haven't looked. Oh, yeah, they have. Okay. <sighs> right, well, here goes nothing. Okay. Um, should we do just drop it in? Yeah, okay. You're a marbling expert. <laughs> don't watch this. Oh, goodness me. I don't know why I keep filming myself. I must make myself look a complete klutz when I'm doing some stuff. Oh, crikey, it comes out fast. It's quite smelly. Right, this is to work quickly, so let's get on it. Okay, so... Um... Let's just draw some patterns. Oh, it's quite, yeah, okay. It's a filmy 
sits on the top of the water, obviously. Because I've always wanted to have a go at this and never have. So, right, um, that can go there. What should we start? Let's start with their paper first. If we're going to muck anything up. Let me get my other glove on. I'm probably not working quick enough, so bear with me. Right, it says drop it in. How do they... Oh, okay, in... And then out. <laughs> okay. Let's just swish that around a bit. Uh, okay, yeah, right. Don't touch it. That's super cool. I've got nowhere to put this stuff. <laughs> I didn't think this through, did I? Right, let's pop that there. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm really glad I put gloves on there. Right, we've got quite a... Oh, it's quite sticky. Okay. Oh, God. Right, I just want to move... Do I want to move those? I just want to try that cardi paper, see what that does. This is probably going to soak it up really badly. Right, okay. So in, through, and out again. Oh, this is weird stuff. Okay. Just gonna soak up the rest of those bits. Oh, I don't, they look quite metallic. I don't know if they are. Okay. Doesn't say what to do with the residue. This is really, really sticky stuff. Okay, let's um, let's sort of scoopy, scoopy this round. Don't know if you're meant to remove the bits, are you? Mm. Should have watched some videos first. Okay. Well, that was all quite yucky. Yeah. Right. Um, I think I'll leave the glove off for a second whilst I just get... Um... Right, we need the gloves for the dipping for definite, but I feel like I can't grab the tops with these. Ooh, okay, it's different. It's not what I expected it to do. Oh, crikey, everything's falling down. Right, this is the different blue. Doesn't take much. Let's put some of that in because that's a nice colour, that green. stick this time. Come out. Yeah, okay, you do have to work really fast. See that's already set? You see that, yeah. Okay, let's just swoosh that all out of the way. Must work faster. Okay. I need to go and watch some videos, I think. But, you know, this is just experiment time. Right, I'm going to put these on because I think I'm going to put the ink in, swirl it, do something with it, and then quickly get the paper in. Um, maybe get a piece of this white card ready. I just want the one sheet for now. Thank you. Right, put that there. Okay. Right, this is going to be a bit fast, er, hopefully. Right, well, we're just going to have to get mucky. Let's leave the lids off, because we're not going to knock it over, are we? No, we are not. She says, putting the lid back on that one. And again, okay, got 
plastic come here oh come here okay this is incredibly weird stuff and it makes great big globules right so in and out that's better okay I now have no table left <laughs> let's see how that first one's doing right I think less is less ink the thing right um bear with me I'm going to pause you for a second I need to make more space two secs I'll be back Right, I'm back with you. I've made some space. I've cleared all the decks behind here because, um, yeah. Right. Definitely recommend the gloves. I'm not usually a glove person, but this stuff is really, really sticky. Unless you don't mind, of course, that's up to you. Right, so that last one came out really well. I'll show you them all at the end, don't worry. I don't know about cleaning the... Do you have to clean this away? Let's scoop up some of it. I've only got four colours, so uh, I thought it was a good starter set and a good taster session. So if I really get into it, I can get the other colours. But uh, let's see. So um, let's just do some. I do like the the lighter colours. So white and the green and the paler blue I quite liked. Just a couple of drops of that. Okay. Right, cocktail stick. Ready. I don't know how why why is it doing that? Sort of glooping onto the stick. See that? Why is it doing that? It's supposed to be marbling it, but it's not marbling. Um, right, let's try their paper again. Dip it in and then dip it out again. Okay. Uh -huh, not too bad. It's very fluid still. I don't know if you can see it moving there. So you can manipulate it for a little bit. Because obviously you've got a film of water in between the ink and the paper still, haven't you? Yes, you have. You see it's quite a big loopy bit down there. Whoop, stay. And it gets on the back as well, so you kind of end up with a double-sided paper. I can hold that there and just dip the back of that in there. Here we go. This is where it wraps all up. Oh, no, not too bad. I've got some greaseproof paper down, so hopefully that will just dry like that. We'll see. Why the gloopiness? I want to be able to move it. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I'm not putting enough... Maybe a bit more ink and then I want to get the, I don't know what you call them, you know the stripes that you see on marbled paper. So let's put down quite a bit more, cover the whole film, whole surface. That's the bits I want to try and do. See, it's just looping again. You're supposed to just wipe them off, maybe. And we got a dog barking. <laughs> oh, it never rains, but it pours. I guess that means it's starting to set. So let's uh, put that there. Another bit of cheapy white paper. Well, card-ish it is. I think the clue is to dip it in and then out again. Oh, I haven't quite got the method yet. See the way it's still quite fluid? So you can 
manipulate until that dries presumably until the water disappears a bit I don't want to hold it there but I'm gonna to have to just want to get a bit more on this end I guess it must have a bit of an oily substance in it to make it not oily I don't know I don't know how to describe it really right hold on let me just dump this around the other side it's gripping <sighs> sorry paper's not laying down flat go down flat thank you it's very susceptible to be moved so you have to sort of be keep your fingers off it basically nice gloopy mess isn't it I wonder what that comes off like all right I'll just do a couple more and then I'll um, experiment and I'll show you well I'll do a couple more and then I'll show you what we've done or what I've done all right so let's have that one let's try the two blues this time doesn't look to be an awful lot of difference in those colors but I think there is oh it's weird stuff Dip another bit of their card again. See, this is why I don't like wearing gloves. See, it's transferring. See the way it still moves. So if you've got something you like, just hold it flat until the water. That's cool. I like that bit. That's just a bit of scummy bit as well. <laughs> Yeah, it must be um, a bit of an oil-based substance, I suppose. It's cool. I like it. And you get the back as well. Okay. Stop fiddling with it. Oh, this could be a bit addictive, couldn't it? Because you just want to keep going. Let's scoop up these bits. Yeah, it must be a very heavily oil-based paint, ink, whatever. Because uh, it's, you know, it's obviously designed to sit on the surface. So, and as we all know, Physics 101, oil and water don't mix. So... Um, I really, I really, really, really want to get the, oh, I can't remember what they're called, it's not coming to me, the stripey bits, Sticky, get off. <laughs> it's sticky. Okay, it's setting right. Let's uh, dab a bit of cheapy card in there. I don't think you meant to just get it under the surface. Let's just try that.
sticking to my gloves now. Oh, and that's all coming off. Lovely. That's okay. Which I think what that pattern's called is it bat like a battenberg, like you get on a cake. This is just cold water. I wonder if it reacts differently in warm water. I don't know. Don't know enough about it. Okay. That dark blue is very dark. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking of what colours to... One more, and then I'll show you what I've done. So maybe I need to cover the whole surface like that. Put a bit of white in there. And then quickly... Don't break apart on me. Okay. This isn't quite going to plan. Let's use another bit of their paper. Well, actually, I really want to... I'm going to do it. I want to get big sheets. Come on, get ready. Okay. Okay, you need to set just there, quite like you there, well done. You can move up there slightly. Hmm. You see the way it's still quite fluid, so you can manipulate it. Try not to touch the front with my gloves because they are. Bleh. Okay. 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 That's pretty cool. Right. Try not to touch. Try not to touch. Okay. Right. I'm going to stop there because I've now got like every surface that I've got spare covered in things now and I'll keep touching them with those gloves which are ruining them so let's see if I can get them back under the Ugh, yuck right, let me just get the lids back on this stuff otherwise um I will knock it over because I know what I'm like there's quite a lot of paint left in there still isn't there Let's get another bit of uh It's cardi paper. Right, this is where I regret not having my gloves on, isn't it? Strictly not the way to do it, I would imagine. But come on, up, uh, yep. Okay, that's quite interesting. Quite like that. Got nowhere to put it. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Right, I'll do a quick flip through of what we've done. So that's quite nice. That's the lighter blue with the green and the white. 
still quite wet so see if I can reach across so you can to keep walking around bear with me Ooh, big stretch okay I think this one's my favorite I love that one sorry try and keep it out of the ring light yeah I like that one hold on I can't stretch that far okay these are the first two so that's on the card that came in the kit that was a I think I put quite a lot of ink on that one quite liking that and the nice thing with this cardi paper is that you can um, uh, stitch it it's um, hang on get out of the water bath you silly thing so that's those two and then I've got these ones that we've just done ish this one's still dripping there's that one shove that over there that one not too bad quite textured there I don't want to touch it because it's still very wet I'm trying to go flat okay there we are all right so um yeah I need to experiment a bit with that I think and then um but it's just one of those things that sorry I'll be with you in a second I've, I keep seeing marbled paper and I really fancied having a go so I have done now so um yeah I might have got that out of my system <laughs> I might do some more love that one it's really different like I say it kind of I need to grab this so it doesn't transfer it kind of does the back at the same time so yeah it's um it's interesting right okay mad scientist over and done I wonder if you can do it on fabric oh look at this um I wonder nah I don't know anyway right I'll leave it there I'll let you go and um yeah so if you get a chance to find that cheapo kit at uh Lidl's it's that one the create box right it's only four colors but it's fine Cool. All right. See you later. Bye.